I would like to make one more comment, my dear brothers and sisters, on what happened during the last few days here in America. In Minnesota yesterday, and in Louisiana the day before, where African-American people were targeted for no reason, no justified reason, other than hatred. When the police officer stops a, an African-American, asking him to show his identity, his driver license, and as the man is trying to get his, the, get his driver license to the police, the police shoots him five times. Not once, not twice, not three times, five times? Why? Why? He works on the ground. And same thing happens in Louisiana. Almost every other day we hear about the tragedy committed by the police against minorities, particularly the African American. This is I. This is a big stigma in the face of this nation. That every once in a while we hear about a conspicuous murder against a member of the minority simply because he has a different <coughs> skin color. And you know what, my dear brothers and sisters? There are many other incidents that you and I do not even hear about. Why? Because there was no camera recording. There was no iPhone recording. And for those incidents that you heard about, the reason is you heard about because there was a camera accidentally. There was a camera recording. Otherwise, if there was no camera recording, you would not have heard about those crimes committed against innocent people. And look what happened. Today in Dallas, five police officers are killed, seven of them are injured. Obviously, we condemn this attack and we don't believe this is justified attack. Because the Quran says, If a police officer commits a crime, we should not hold other people responsible. We should not hold other police officers responsible. Rather, we have to go and hold the same perpetrator accountable for his own act. But in the end, what do you expect? Violence breeds violence. Terror breeds terror. When people, when some police officers go reckless, indifferent about innocent lives, this is what's going to happen. And what do you expect to happen in a country that allows people to use gun? And what happens to a country where there are at least 300 million, 300 million piece of, pieces of gun everywhere? Our country has turned into a garrison. There are guns everywhere, everywhere. People have free and easy access to gun. When you allow every person in this country to have easy access to gun, this is the result. This would be the result. That we wake up every day in this country in the face of a new tragedy happening somewhere in this country. And then, some people go philosophical in talking about the motives for those who commit violence. Stop gun, stop access to gun, and you will see that the rate of crimes and violence will drop significantly in this country. But when you allow people to go wild and have access to gun, of course, we will be expecting more and more of these crimes. So, I think, as many people do in this country, that unless there is true attempt by our government to impose strict, strict measures over selling of drugs, of uh, uh, weapon and gun, then those tragedies will continue to happen, unfortunately.